Welcome back to Half A Hot Rods. This week we're going to be doing a little drivability diagnosis slash preventative maintenance slash guessing at what's making our normally 10 mile per gallon truck run six or seven and have what I think is a little bit of a miss. So stick around, follow along as we figure this out and hopefully get it fixed. Hold on to your shore town. So it's time to get a little maintenance done on Betty White here, the 8.1 3 quarter ton Silverado. She's kind of a workhorse, sometimes a daily driver. Uh, right now it's a daily driver for Wyatt because we've got his truck in here getting ready to get a 5 speed put in. Or maybe it's halfway done. You don't know. Anyway, it was time for an oil change. And recently I've noticed a little bit of what I think is a misfire when it's under load. And by under load, I mean like pulling a hill with a trailer on. And if you get out of it a little, if you get out of the throttle a little, it'll recover and it'll be fine. Um, but if you stay in it, it'll actually act up to the point where it kicks the engine light on. I just haven't had the opportunity to check that check engine light while it was on and it goes off when it doesn't see the problem anymore. My suspicion is that at 186,000 miles, the plugs have probably never been changed. Uh, these commonly go 100,000 plus. They're Iridium, I think, is the original plug. They're like 10 or 12 bucks a piece now. Um, I've had good luck with NGKs, just regular NGKs in LS-powered stuff. So that's what I'm going to run in this big block. Um, I know it's not an LS or even LS derivative. It's, it's a big block. Uh, but it does have the individual coils. So this is a coil, spark plugs down there, and probably going to put new wires on it too. But hopefully when I pull these plugs out, I'll see something definitive that will confirm what I think it is, and that's that it's just worn. So we'll get some plugs pulled out here, see what we've got, talk about what we're doing along the way. My NGKs are 5 8 so I'm hoping that's what the, uh, what are they that's in it? AC Delco's? Probably AC Delco's in it, Iridium. But we'll get in here and see. Based on the condition of the truck when I bought it at over 100,000 miles, I'll be shocked if it doesn't have original plugs in it because somebody was not very nice to it. And I've been nicer. I've been nicer to it, but I still haven't kept up with everything I probably should have. So let's get going and see what we get. Let's see. Wish I was taller. Wish I was a baller. There. Now I'm a little taller. Still not a baller. Good one. The good news is with coil, one coil per plug and they go straight down to them, it should be very difficult for me to screw them up by putting the wrong wires on the wrong plugs. I pulled that wire apart so what's happening so my socket won't go all the way on awesome that's how things are gonna go and my sister won't stop texting me I'm trying to create cinematic magic here we need flyers There's the rest of the spark plug wire. That's not a good start. Glad I bought wires. Threads are about a mile long on this. I mean, honestly, it doesn't look terrible. Oh, no. They're not original. Because they're auto lights. They auto light, but they don't. Hmm. I've always thought those were a Ford plug. 
junk Ford and Autolite, in case you were wondering. Sorry, not sorry. Let's see what they all look like first. I mean, these wires are stuck. Dang it. I think that one stayed together. Got a little warm around the edge. I don't know if that means it was misfiring. The other one didn't, but busted. We're going to throw that one on the ground. As I might keep these old ones for spares. I don't know, just in case. What? Good lord. Well, it wasn't loose. Doesn't look too bad either. I have to look up what the white is because they're all very consistently white. And I think that's okay, but I can't remember for sure. See, I feel like this black around the edges shouldn't be there. Like maybe it's arcing to the little heat shields, which I'm probably supposed to put on the new wires. I'm glad you pointed that out. I might have missed it. I might even clean those up so I can see if it comes back. Could be an oil leak too, I don't know. The little sticker says these should be gapped at 60,000, so that's what we'll do. tells you they're pre-gap don't believe them he's full of the caca always check them I guess now that I've got three in there I should have checked to make sure they look like the same plug same reach and everything looks like it that way we don't have to worry about them hitting a piston or something so what did I do here oh I didn't take that last plug out did I why didn't you tell me I don't think I gapped this one. Let's gap this one. Okay, that one's ready to go in. Let me get that last one out. I also recently discovered the compressor for my airbags in the back isn't coming on, so I need to check some fuses. It's really white. Does that mean it's burning coolant? I don't know, but there's some crud in there for sure. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little Googling on that. Alright, now we'll put wires on. I think they're all the same length. We'll just double check. I don't know why they wouldn't be. Yeah, I'd say they are. Put some protection on them. It's a little bit like a milking machine. working these on and you can feel it click and hear it on the top part on the coil but you can feel it click on the spark plug on the bottom all right driver's side's done and let's move to the passenger side Don't want to let go. Another wire that came apart. Ta da! Ta da! Ugh. 
they do make special pliers for spark plug wires to help you avoid busting them like that. I don't have those. And also, I'm not real worried about it because I know I have wires here that I want to put on it anyway. I'm betting that's arcing. Hopefully we're helping the old girl. None of these other ones look like they've got it bad. One of the other things I noticed that made me suspicious it needed some maintenance was uh, rather than the usual Prius like 9 to 10 miles a gallon, last time I pulled that 16 foot stock trailer we only got like between 6 and 7 so you know we need to get back up to those uh, living green numbers of 9 and 10. It's pretty white. Auto light. At least they did a full set, I guess. I was always told you put AC Delcos in GM. Uh, recently, as in the last five or ten years, I've run NGKs in a couple of different GMs at the suggestion of guys who know a lot more than me, guys that build serious hot rods, and I've had good luck with it, so I run mostly NGKs and everything. That looks like, I should check these gaps, because they look like they're way opened up. Oh yeah, that gap is almost 70 thousandths, which is 10 more than what it should be. 65, can't even hold on to it. 65, 65, 65. So these are all opened up a little more than they should be too. 70. So that's probably not helping it either. That well, looks a little better. Well, actually I think it's been arcing over here. Yeah, maybe none of these are working very good. 65-ish. No steering shaft in the way on this side. That's more better. Whew. That's pretty white too. They all kind of look like they might have been arcing down the side instead of reaching all the way out. And that one's between 65 and 70 also. So, they might have just been wore out. And the plug wires weren't doing what they should be doing. So, I hope this helps her out a little bit. I've seen these trucks for sale with 300,000 on the original engine trans, so that's really what I'm hoping for. I don't know if you've looked at new trucks lately, but the 6.6 .6 gas engine is supposed to be the replacement for this one. And it makes about the same power, but it makes it much higher RPM, which I don't particularly like. Although that four-cylinder diesel they're putting in the half tons makes as much it makes 10 more foot pounds of torque than this but it makes 40 less horsepower I'm, I'm kind of curious how that would work out for towing because it starts making power at like 1500 rpm making all that torque so i'm kind of curious to tow with that little baby diesel but i've had a duramax i've had a cummins and I just couldn't justify the additional expense for the amount of towing we do. Additional expense when it comes to initial purchase, maintenance, all that. And this is my third 8-1. The first two were Suburbans, which we loved. Pull the whole family and a camper behind it. Uh, every one of them has had 410 gears. Because we knew we were going to tow, and we also knew we'd put bigger tires on it. So, yep. I like this engine. I wish they had put it in the trucks for longer. Because now they're getting kind of a cult following, and people are charging stupid prices for them. Or, hmm, foot wires. We wrap it before we tap it. What? What did you just say?
So you'll have to be mindful of those exhaust manifolds. If you weren't paying attention, you probably could put those wires against them and burn them through. But our firing order is pretty straightforward. Plug wire goes to the coil that's right above it. I like that. All right. Time to see if I boogered it up or not. What do you think, Tom? Is it going to start? Is it going to run? Is it going to get 40 miles to the gallon? No. It's definitely not going to get 40 miles to the gallon. I did an oil change too, so I gotta look and make sure I don't have any leaks. It's just a little piston slap, don't worry about that. That's that's an eight one thing. We'll let that oil drain back down. We'll check the oil and then we'll take her for a ride. Might just have to Google what white on the spark plugs means, though, in the meantime. Getting to be shopsicle season again. They're like popsicles, only cooler, because they're in the shop. Oh, man, we got corrosion on the plugs, too. Yeah, there was a lot going on here that wasn't in this truck's favor. There's another one. Corrosion. Another one. Three. That one's good. That one's pretty bad. Four. Five. At least five of the plugs have some pretty bad corrosion on them. We didn't have dog. Is it going to be a high efficiency hot rod again? And if we got 11 miles a gallon, I'd be bragging. All right, hound dog. You think it's a race car now? Let's see what we get. Oh, we still need to look at that airbag compressor and probably change one tire. <clears throat> Still rides rough, hound. I mean, not like a Dodge or anything, but let's see if it'll do anything. says it's more better. How? What do you think? Hound dog. Is it good? Is it good? Does it make all the horsepowers? Huh? I don't know. It's, it's kind of a slow so, uh, You need to stay back there. Just because I talk to you doesn't mean I want you in my pocket. You're not a pocket puppy.
of gas, see what we get, but judging by the amount of corrosion on those plugs, um, just the general condition of them, we certainly couldn't have hurt anything. It's all right, Hound, I'll hold you up, buddy. Um, I really don't think we hurt anything. So, we'll go park this one. Hold on to your shorts, Hound. Boxes back there, Hound. I don't want to pull a Wyatt. Test drive went okay. Make sure we don't see anything weird where we've touched. We don't have wires up against the exhaust manifolds or anything weird like that. Not seeing any new leaks from something I leaned on or pushed against. That's the AC dripping, so that's fine. The oil mess under there is what I made when I dropped the filter. Oh, we gotta check these fuses and see where my blown fuse is, maybe. That's weird. if this connection that I just wiggled was what it was. No, that's not what it was, but it's sure working now. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why it wasn't working the other day, but it's working now, so we're going to leave it alone. I don't get it. So I've got to switch my tire out with the spare. Uh, we've got some odd, uneven wear, and I think I know, you know, part of it, maybe it was overinflated a little bit, but uh, I don't think that's all of it. This is on the right rear. So go ahead and comment. Tell me what you think would cause that kind of wear on the right rear of a three quarter ton four wheel drive truck with a big block. It may or may not have been driven a lot recently by a teenage boy. I'm not making an accusation. I'm just curious what everybody else thinks. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think that wear on the right rear might be from. plastic guys you'll feel them kind of click in that last little bit and if you try and go a little more you'll strip them and then they won't work anymore
now the tire is remedied the air compressor magically fixed itself now it's time for lunch well i looked it up and those white deposits could be anything from the mixture fuel mixture not being right to oil deposits uh to it could be coolant i'm not seeing any coolant in the oil or oil in the coolant so i'm not super worried about that i know this burns a little oil so that makes sense um, the fuel mixture could be off because of the ignition system not working properly we found that corrosion so i think all those things kind of work together and it was just time for new plugs so we'll keep an eye on it make sure it's going to work right I think on the test drive it felt pretty good, so we'll just keep an eye on it, monitor our fuel mileage, see if we got back to the, you know, the awesome 10 miles a gallon we used to get, and go from there. Um, this project we use a handful of basic hand tools. I spent about $50 on plugs and wires, so pretty cheap there. And uh, yeah, don't forget to comment on the tire wear. I'm curious what everyone might think it is. Anyway. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.